Hello everyone! This is your captain speaking. And welcome to the stream! There we go. What? Why is that? Oh, I did... I did type numbers, didn't I? Hold on. There we go. Okay, everything should be correct now. Because it's still set up from yesterday, so... Okay, there is going to be a massive tonal shift from that song to, uh, Ruin. Because <laughs> Ruin is intense so far, at least compared to normal Security Breach. Uh, continue please. Chapter 9- I'm in Chapter 9? Oh, they probably are just using the chapters as, um, the quest things. Calling it chapters instead of quests, or whatever they called them before? So, what we have experienced so far for people who are freshly here is, uh... We are playing as Cassie. Cassie was called by Gregory to come save him from the ruins of the Pizzaplex. Except the Pizzaplex looks like an apocalypse hit it. And as things have, um... Um... Right as things have... What am I saying? Sorry, my brain is mush. So from the beginning, Gregory's been acting really suspicious, but as we've been going through, it's actually a lot more noticeable in his audio clips that he is straight up just, um, that it's just a video, like a voice recording of him from different things that he said in the original game. And I don't mean that in a, oh, they reused the voice lines way. I mean, in a very clearly, his dialogue is pieced together from things that he was heard saying throughout the Pizzaplex, with his intonation from those moments and everything, so it's very piece piecemeal and very rough. Um, so we are now at the point where we need to deactivate Roxy, who grabbed us, and then we were like, hey, what are you doing? And she was like, uh, I'm sorry? And she let go. So now we have to deactivate her, but Roxy is Cassie's favorite animatronic, and Gregory isn't Gregory, and also there's AR stuff going on. <clears throat> it's a lot. Cassie, can you hear me? I finally have a clear signal! See? Gregory, I shut down all the security nodes. I'm in the Roxy party garage. Am I close? Almost. There's still one node left that's keeping the underground sealed. Where? Roxy's the final node. You need to deactivate her. But... Deactivate her. Save me. Save me, Cassie. Please. It's so dark down here. See? The dialogue is very obviously piecemealed together, and it has been progressively getting more and more piecemealed as we've been going along. I'm honestly waiting for the next jump scare, because I know one's gotta be coming, right? Can I put on the mask? Okay. I just wanted to double check I had access, because I was getting nervous. But I also don't want to run in this area, because Roxy can only hear. You know what I mean? And running makes steps much louder. Also, I want to specify, I do not know anything coming into this. I played normal Security Breach. I have not seen, like, anything to do with Ruin. What on- Oh, Roxy. Roxy. 
Cassie. Cassie. Welcome back, Cassie. You remember me? Oh, this is gonna hurt, isn't it? Your special day. I remember. Your special day. Do you still like carrot cake? It has been some time since I saw you last. If I remember correctly, it is on the 11th. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I remember because you are number one. Twice. Twice. Have you booked your party? Ruin I'm is sure the DLC for Security time. Breach. It just released yesterday. I'm sorry, Roxy. Cassie? What are you doing? I'm sorry, Roxy. So sorry. I love hair cake. Happy birthday, Cassie. Roxy. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Well, that was terrible and sad and awful. Don't think, just do it. I did it. Now what? Okay, so we saved Sun and Moon, but then we killed Roxy? That was the last security node. I've located the source of your friend's radio signal. It's coming from under the raceway. Warning, you are now leaving the Vanny Network coverage zone. Ah. So help he can't help me down here. Hmm, I wonder if this is a trap. I wonder if deactivating the animatronic that cares about me the most, and then coming down here, where the only other person who has helped me this entire time cannot help me. I wonder if this is a trap. <laughs> oh, Cassie. It's okay. <laughs> oh, poor girl. She just wants her friend back. But we don't even know what's happened to Gregory, because that's not Gregory that's talking to her. And Gregory apparently drew the comics that were the other endings. Why did I get turned? Oh, it was a warp zone. So... What even happened to Gregory? Where is actual Freddy? Because the Freddy we got attacked to, but <laughs> attacked by was a prototype. <laughs> Cassie, Cassie, I can't do it. I can't handle the kid crying, and I can't do anything to help it. <laughs> Poor kid, so scared, alone, had to hurt the only animatronic that she cared about, doesn't have many friends, and they didn't show up to her birthday party. The only friend she seems to have is Gregory, who's been missing for who knows how long. We don't even know if Gregory's alive. I got teleported somewhere else. Am I... <laughs> okay, the music stopped. Last time we were here, there were endos. Well, last time we were here, it also wasn't on fire, so... Maybe there are no more endos. Oh, Cassie... <laughs> Why is there a tunnel leading this way now? Because, like, here's the thing, right? We're either helping the Mimic or we're helping the Blob, and I don't know which it is right now. But if that's the case, where is Gregory? Is Gregory alive, even? Oh good, another save point. Oh yeah, this feels safe. This feels like a great place to save. 
Monty's gonna be in the fucking water, isn't he? No! No, 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 no. Come on! Stupid flashlights! Oh! No flashlight! Great! Gift box. What's in here? A Faz token. Great. Warmer. Yeah, no. We're 100% being manipulated. I just need to know who we're being manipulated by. Oh, don't make me go into the dark. Is this one gonna be the jump scare? It's just another Faz token. But yeah, see? These- these comic endings from the original Security Breach? They're literally just comics that Gregory apparently drew. So what the hell does that mean? It's gonna be another token or a jump scare. So I'm gonna close my eyes. It's another token. Okay. What is the point? Candy Cadet? I am a candy cadet. Come get your candy. I have candy all day. Every day. Candy. 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 Now I will tell you a story. Oh shit, what about story? A, and a little boy who lived alone in a cabin in the dark woods. There was a monster in the woods, but the mother caught it and kept it locked in the basement. The monster always made scary noises at night, but the mother would tell the boy not to worry because it could never get out. Then she would sing the boy a lullaby to sleep. Okay. One day, the monster stopped crawling and instead listened to oh. the lullaby. Yeah, we're getting manipulated. I used all my tokens. Okay. Yeah, this is basically saying, hey, the monster's down here and it learned how to mimic and it tricked you. It tricked you. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, Cassie. I think we're Why walking- Why are there burners everywhere? It's like the inside of an oven. Cassie, I think we're walking you to your death. I think Gregory's gone. Oh dear. Okay. Um... It goes down? Oh no. What the hell is gonna be below this? Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good, actually. This is incredibly bad. I'm within the area again? That's glitch trap. That's gotta be what glitch trap is connected to. Oh, this is not good. What the hell? Okay, I can only use that machine when that is equipped. So I'm gonna just very quickly handle this first. Hey, Dihono! Okay, so that's got power for when I do that. Um. 
I have to hit yes. Okay. Nope. We got tricked, Cassie. Well, you got tricked. I kind of knew from the beginning. Something's holding it in there. Gregory! Gregory! You okay? Gregory's not here, Cassie. You saved me! You saved me. Gregory? No. I... I'm Gregory. You're not Gregory. What are you? Uh, I... Gregory. No, you're not. Roxy saved us! Okay. Interesting. Cassie, can you hear me? Gregory? Is that really you? I mean, really you. I've been trying to reach you all night. I'm not at the pizza place. <gasps> Something's trying to trick you. You're a bit late. This thing in the basement sounds just like you. Okay. I don't know this is you for real. Is there another option? You need to get out of there now. How? My friend has access to the building maps. Just follow the instructions. My friend? Oh, shit. Okay, we're going, 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 we're going. Go right, okay. Sure thing. It's right behind you. I know that, Gregory. But if I but if I run out of stamina, I will die. Go right, right. Okay, going right. Hurry. I'm going as fast as I can, Gregory. just delivered her into your enemy's hands, betrayed her, and made it even more likely that she will side with your enemy. What is wrong with you? I think we're in a loading section right now. I don't know what's happening. It said hold E to skip, and then that prompt went away. I can't hit escape either. Okay, so the game's doing something. 
What on earth? This is a really long loading time. Game, are you good? Also, that doesn't explain why he had access to the cameras. So that definitely was the mimic. Cassie. Hello? Hello? Huh? What? What on earth? I didn't get like an achievement like for getting the ending. I don't know what just happened. Well, I guess we're doing this sequence again to see if it changes anything. Or if it broke before. It's right behind you! Keep going! Go right! Right! Hurry! Almost there! talking to you thing is not real fooling you into death that could be true Cassie it's me I think I need to explain a few things you were never supposed to go to the pizza place but then usually it would have a and game over screen and, and then you. I really having Roxy say is, Cassie is, is also weird time. if it's a scripted the death security program was designed to keep it hidden but you shut down the security, and now it's free. It's not your fault. I know you did it for me, to save me. But we can't risk being followed. I'm sorry. Gregory? No! Also, if we have access to this, to, who is the we? <laughs> I guess I'll hold E to skip this time? Cassie. The credits tried to come up that time!
What? Give me a second. I'm just c confused. Give me a second. What? Don't go right next time. True. And none of these reviews that it has g given is helpful. Like, literally none of the reviews for this are helpful at all. It doesn't tell me anything. Hey, Scott? Hey, Scott Cawthon? Hey, bud? What the fuck? <laughs> I need coffee, what the fuck? I'm gonna definitely try the taking the left. If there's anyone in the chat right now who is not super concerned about spoilers, could someone look up for me and tell me if that is the actual ending? Or if, like, something broke, if something's supposed to be happening that isn't. Okay. Go right! Okay, no, left to dead end. So that is the path I'm supposed to follow. There are three endings? It's the abandoned ending. What the hell? How do I get other endings? THE SCOOPER ENDING?! Okay. I'm not reading anything further than the scooper ending, because I don't want to get spoiled, but the fact that there's the fucking scooper. What the shit? Okay, so... I have to have played all the mini games. One of them is in chapter one. So do I have to start over? They're usually a little bit more clear about how to get endings.
Okay. I see how to activate the other ending. I will activate the other ending. I cannot get the scooper ending on this save. I am stuck. Not a good start. Stop there. There was nothing to do there. It didn't. Just end me. Just end me. Just send me back to the start of the sequence, please. Once you reach the green rocks on the floor, turn around and look at the cardboard cutout and put on the Vanny mask. That's... That's confusing. ending here. Maybe this Go next right. ending will make more sense. Hurry. There. I'm okay. I found a spot to hide. What? True ending of Ruin. Then that means that simultaneously the true ending and the Princess Quest ending both happened? Which, honestly, that would be the ideal, is if Princess Quest ending happened, and also that would make sense as to why the mask was suddenly available, because... Or is this implying that the true ending inherently includes the Princess Quest ending, and that's why we never see Vanny in the true ending? Also, where was Freddy? Because in the true ending of Security Breach, Freddy escapes full body, but in the Princess Quest ending, he escapes his only a head. Hey, DJ Sturf is in the special thanks. Fucking pog as hell. 
Um. But. And, and Roxy doesn't find us at the end of this ending? What? I'm fucking confused, dude. What the hell? So people call... Okay, so people call the elevator ending the normal ending. I am so confused. No, that's just how to get the endings in Security Breach. Okay, so some people are calling that the hallucination ending? What? <laughs> Sorry, I'm really just trying to understand. Okay, this person is saying the Fazbear ending is actually the bad ending because it's showing a situation happening in the same style as the fake security breach endings. And so that's the bad ending. Also, apparent- like, one set of things is saying to get the good ending, you have to play all the minigames. This one is saying you have to discover secret cameras. What? what? Huh? I'm very confused because the the abandoned ending seems to imply that there is more to come. But if that's not the canon ending, then it wouldn't matter. Hold on real quick. First camera system in chapter one, booking for secret cameras in chapters one, three, five, and seven. So one, three, five, seven. Okay. And we'll get you the secret ending. 
So here's the first camera system in chapter one. Before you even get to anything really important, we're gonna go on this, ignore what Helpy's saying, and we're gonna hit the zoom out button on the bottom of the minimap, and you'll see the new camera oh! in the top right corner. All you have to do is click on it, and you'll see this. Okay. Open, and that's it. Now we have to go do this three more times in three other chapters. But luckily, we don't have to play the chapter through in its entirety. I mean, unless you're playing this for the first time, then you do. It is important to note that before you head back to the main menu, you do want to see that saving icon in the bottom right of your screen. Once you see that icon, you are good to go back and go to the main menu and search for the other doors. You don't have to play the entire chapter out but you do have to make sure it saves. Now the camera in chapter three can be confusing. It is. Okay. That's not what I meant to do. I did the wrong thing. I hit the wrong button. I'm gonna need to wait until I see this, the, this scooper ending until I can determine which ending I think is the true ending. Cause here's the thing. The abandoned ending- yeah blah 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 blah. Quit the main menu, this is not where I wanted to be. Um... The only one that had a fully animated cutscene was the true ending. So what? Oh, fucking pog as hell. Okay. No progress or collectibles will be lost. Awesome! Thank you. Thank you, Steel Wool. Thank you, Steel Wool. Okay. So, hmm. Because, obviously the Fazbear ending can't be a real ending. Like, it can't be a real ending because of what we know so far, and also it's definitely not a good ending. Because we've been told we're outside of the range of the Vanny network. Which makes me wonder- Gregory? Gregory? You there? I got your message. Which makes me wonder if Gregory, the Vanny... are you there? If the Vanny network was made by them after they got out Vanessa? If they got I out Vanessa. Why would Gregory tell me to come to this old... Okay, you know what? We're gonna do a little, um... We're gonna do a little funny little speedrun strat called we're gonna mute the dialogue unfortunately maybe it doesn't work the same in ruin as it does in normal security breach but it usually lets you bypass um, stuff I guess my curiosity would be how did they get her number in the first place for the mimic to call her? Gregory didn't ha exactly have a cell phone. Does that mean this is just like lead up to um to whatever comes next? At least we know that Gregory's probably alive.
I wish I could skip this. I wonder though, because Cassie says that her dad worked for Fazbear Entertainment. And that's why she knows what the Faz Wrench is. Which would also explain why Roxy um remembers her. Maybe her father was Rock was one of the main technicians for repairing the animatronics. Also, what is the whole deal with um Eclipse? We fixed Eclipse. Roxy doesn't hate us. Um, Monty Gator is in fact dead, though. Um, we electrocuted him in a lake. And then Chica is just somewhere still corrupt, I guess? Have a lot of questions. I'm gonna be real. But we're gonna go through this and we're gonna see if that is in fact how we get the secret ending. It looked like in the video the guy had just recently gotten the, um, the mask, so we have to at least get to the part where we get the mask to be able to use that camera. Hog. Okay. This part is just like startling. It's not freaking me out so much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for visiting, and we hope you enjoyed the show. Poor hand unit. Well, this is the place where they film the uh the one not quite cutscene thing. But, like, the thing that tells you about the nearby area. Can I crawl under this? No. Okay. I forgot that Monty was in there. Incredibly laggy on my computer, but I do still like the visual of this. Why is there a box out of bounds? Why is there an out of bounds box? Uh oh. Uh oh. Developers, why was there a bounding box? Silly. Silly. normal Freddy that we encounter as the evil Freddy because it says prototype and our Freddy never said prototype. So what the fuck ending even is it? What is happening? You know what I mean? What the hell? At the very least, I'm very glad that Steel Wool is living up to the expectations of 
this lore being incredibly fucking confusing. Uh, just for fun. Oh, I have to equip it. Okay. Also, it doesn't explain Helpy at all. Though it says the pesky security notes, so I guess Helpy was always a villain the whole time. Oh! The transponder implant allows me to communicate with you even if the mask is off. Yeah, I think Helpy's evil. I think H-E-L-P-I Helpy is evil. Maybe that's why he's in that ending? To show that it's a bad ending? Because we should not be able to use the mask in a non-allowed area, but also Helpy's like, I'm here to help you. We're going to turn off the security nodes, but actually it's very important to keep them on. But then that would indicate to me that the Mimic and Glitch Trap are two separate entities. Which is also weird because I thought Glitch Trap was manipulating Vanny to power up the Mimic, which was mimicking Afton. So, the Mimic wants help to escape. But, Afton's glitch trap's still trying to kill us? My head hurts, dude. I don't even... Okay, this is the one we need to get to. So we just got the save on the screen. Yeah, shut up, Helpy. We zoom out, here's the secret camera. We now exit out. We now have to get a little bit further in the game to trigger it to save. And then we can move forward. The back nine! Yo, they put the removed ones in the game! I also want to know what all the different sounds are supposed to imply as well. I'm very intrigued to see what people say about this. Because the vibes are correct. The vibes are really scary and spooky, but you still have that free room aspect. But also, what the fuck does this mean for the lore, you know what I mean? Okay, we now wait for the save thing to go away, because it is currently saving. If you look at Helpy, sometimes he has black veins around his eyes, that's glitching. Oh, Really quick, let's look at the inventory. Filled with carrot drop candy. I feel like these are also going to be important. Like the different items that you pick up. Okay, next. Let me just check the time. Yeah, I got plenty of time. The game is figuring itself out. Is on this catwalk part, but it isn't the first camera set you find. It's not that one over there. It's actually this set of cameras right here. So we're gonna go in. Okay. 
So we have to go to the Monty Catwalks. Profile 1, Chapter Select. No. All collectibles found. Wait, all collectibles found? That's all the collectibles there are? That's not very many. That's interesting. I mean, it's a short little romp. I almost finished it yesterday in three hours, but... But the other thing as well, Moon, is if that's Glitchtrap pretending to be Helpy, but Glitchtrap is also the bunny trying to get to us, then what purpose would Glitchtrap have to get us to go to the Mimic? Okay. We're on our way to Monty Golf. This is a little section that we can't do anything about right now. It's cool that we get to see the ride that we never got to see before, though. Also, this makes it incredibly sad that it's implied Monty's the one who killed Bonnie. Because if this is the story that it was supposed to be... Or is this the cover-up that they made? Like, did they entirely re-theme this ride once, um... Once Monty took over for Bonnie? Also, why would Gregory just leave his friend to die? Like, I understand the whole, oh, we're, uh, trying to keep away from the Mimic, so we're just gonna let you die, I guess. But also, that doesn't really make sense for him as a character. He's only violent towards people who actively harm him. He went through everything with Freddy to the point where, like, I'm pretty sure if Freddy had suddenly started being, like, evil or whatever... Then... He still would have done everything he could have to help Freddy. So it doesn't make sense in my understanding of Gregory's character for him to abandon his friend. I don't understand... No, I did not, uh, team up. Okay, this is not the camera that I need. I need to go this way. Also, this feels... I'm going to possibly be a little bit I don't know how this is gonna come across. I don't mean this towards the devs, like, in a derogatory sense. But this feels a bit more, like, set up for, like, testing out these game mechanics to see if people like them. Does that make sense? Like, this feels like an experiment sort of thing. As opposed to, like, a big addition to the game? It feels a bit like we wanted to see what people would think about a game in this style. Which I'm absolutely fine with. I'm just trying to figure out what the intention is for Ruin. Like, is it intended to be this, like, 
huge lore moment? Or is it actually meant to be like, we're working on figuring out what we want to do kind of deal, you know what I mean? Is this the one? No, this is not the one. Okay, um... Interesting. probably catch up on looking into that sort of stuff later just because currently my brain is distracted with trying to figure out fake lore. Hi Monty, thanks for the jump scare bud. Also, what the hell is with the doorways? This is not explained. I'm intrigued. I Is it this one? No, it's not. Okay. Wait, it's that one. I need to get over to that one. How do I... get over to that one because that's the one that I need hit that one hit that one hit that one okay so that now drops down Cause like it adds this new mechanic, it adds the ability to control sort of the animatronics with the sound cues and the cameras. It, it has a lot interesting going for it, but I don't understand what it wants. Like what it wants to do. Okay, that door's now open. This should give me a save? Pog. Okay, once this is done saving, we're exiting to menu and I'm going back to the video to see where the one on five is. Quit to menu. Into this with E, we're gonna zoom out and add you'll for its a little save to the next chapter which is chapter five. For the third cam in chapter five, where you're in Roxy Raceway, you're gonna play the chapter out as normal until you get to the scissors. Then we're gonna hold E on them, just like you would normally to progress the level. We're gonna keep running, and here is the set of cameras right in front of us. We're gonna hold E again, and just like before, we're gonna zoom out. Okay. At the bottom, that is where the camera is. We went on it, the door opened, and now we just play it out like normal until we get to a save point, uh, and we'll be good to go. There we go, there's a save icon in the bottom right. So okay. I understand where to go now. Oh, chapter five is the only one with all collectibles found, I now understand. The only thing I know about this ending, besides the fact that it involves the scooper, which, first of all, how is this- <sighs> I'm not even gonna get into how is the scooper at the 
FNAF 6 location that is now in the basement of the Mega Pizza Plex. I'm not even going to get into that right now. Because there's a lot there. But also, this is claiming that it changes the Mimic's appearance. It has not explained anything other than that. So I'm intrigued by whatever the hell that's gonna mean. For this one, it's gonna be pretty easy now that I know how to mess with the rabbit thing. Let's wait for the textures to load a little bit. Cutscene time. Maybe I should just turn the voice effects back on because it is not actually making this go any faster. And it just makes it a little bit silly. There we go. Gregory! I gotta get in there! Okay, we go this way. We go this way. We play in the ball pit balls. Which, yeah, why are there ball pit balls everywhere around here? Like, that's a big question, I feel like. I can't get the mask off again! Okay. So we're gonna double back to that one at some point. At this point. Eyeballs? Really? Gross, 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 gross! We come back here, do this, take this off. <clears throat> We are now at this sequence. This is the sequence where we have to do the camera thing. So I'm waiting a little bit for the cooldown and we go now. And we go now. Cause this is the part where you start spawning. now have to lead him this way. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Come get me. Come get me. Hey. Hey, come get me. Hey. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Okay, cool. Now he's in here. It takes him a while to get back out. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. 
Hurry up, hurry up. Let me out. Cool. We go through here, we deactivate this thing, and that should give us the next save point. Okay, there is just a save point in general. Pog, we wait for this. Big stretch. Okay, quit to main menu. Now we are safe to exit and move on to the final chapter, chapter seven. The final camera we're gonna need is in chapter seven in Bonnie Bowl. It is not this first one you come across, it's actually the one all the way over in the bowling lanes where the huge swarm of the little DJ music men critters are. Okay, I'm just looking through this video real quick to make sure I understand. So here oh, it's that here. one! The safest way to do this is to send them across from you so you can grab this nice and safely. So we're gonna run, we're gonna let them go. And now that they're gone and it's safe, let's go ahead and go back to the camera and zoom. Okay. The camera will be directly in the north, and you'll see the final room has opened up. Again, just like before, we have to go in and make sure we get the save icon so that everything And that's right there. Okay. Saves. There it is in the bottom right. And now that we have all four doors open, we can head into chapter nine. Or again, if you're playing this through normally, you can just play the game normally up until the very end. And well, you'll see. All right. Okay. We go to chapter seven now. I understand where we need to go. And we're gonna get this ending, y'all. I've got a lot to think about when it comes to this game. Because I'm going to be honest, I like this game. I like what it does. I like... I like what it does. I like the game mechanics. I find Cassie interesting. I find the storytelling interesting. So far, the other two endings have really been a letdown. So... I'm hopeful that this final ending will, I don't know, be something. You know what I mean? Because the abandoned ending does not fit to me with what we know of Gregory's character. The bad ending is either the mimic kills her? Or Glitch Trap has a new puppet. You know what I mean? Neither of those options are good. Okay. Let's let the textures load in. So I'm intrigued to see... what this ending does. Huh? Thanks! Hated that room, whatever that was. What on earth? Can I- Hello? I can only collect this one from above. Okay? That's weird. What happened to you? That's weird. Okay. That's- Hmm. That's confusing is what that is. But what is this series if not confusing, you know what I mean? That's just par for the course, really.
I also saw in one of the comments around here that there is a place where you can find broken Glamrock Bonnie. I don't believe that for like a second. Can move. The hell is over here? I didn't even notice this purple light before. Okay, well, that didn't help. <laughs> Those things. They look like a DJ. Gregory! Are you there? Hey! That's my voice! Okay. Zoom out, camera, door is open. I don't entirely know what this is gonna do, but allegedly it's gonna do something, so... Let's see what this does for chapter 9. Okay. I think it said when you get to the green rocks. Is it when you get past the green rocks or when you see the green rocks? Let me double check that real quick. looking this up real quick, because it has not been clear about where I'm supposed to not listen to Gregory. Turn left before approaching the elevator. Okay. I understand. I understand. Chapter select. Chapter nine. Yes. Okay. We're getting the scooper ending, y'all. It's interesting that people thought it was you had to complete all the secret minigames. I'm pretty sure there are only two minigames that were re-added. I don't- I'm guessing the bowling ending wasn't added? Though I will say, I can't be too sure. 
Okay. Cassie, can you hear me? I finally have a clear signal. Gregory, I shut down all the security nodes. I'm in the Roxy party garage. Am I close? Almost. There's still one node left that's keeping the underground sealed. Where? Roxy's the final node. We need to deactivate her. But... Deactivate her and save me. Save me, Cassie, please. It's so dark down here. How... Genuinely, though, how did they find out about Cassie? Was it because Cassie was within... Roxy's memories? I, uh, I'm gonna need like a day or two to process all of this mentally, and then I can start trying to come up with some theories and stuff. You know what I mean? Roxy. Cassie. Cassie. Welcome back, Cassie. You remember me? Your special day. I remember. Cassie? What are you doing? So sorry. I love hair cake. Happy birthday, Cassie. Fox. I'm sorry. This whole thing is just <clears throat> a little confusing, but mostly intriguing. I wonder if there's some, like, Tales from the Pizza Plex. The eyes are yellow when Helpy has the corruption. And seems to be blue when being helpful. I am going to turn off audio for the moment just because of the crying in the elevator. Don't feel bad, it was for the best. Whoa, that's just unsettling. But I'm mainly gonna turn it off because of the crying for right now. It's because Cassie was a guest, she's registered in their system. Right, but why would they know that Cassie knows Gregory? The person who the Mimic heard enough of that it could absolutely mimic him. Also, how's the elevator back up? I thought the elevator was a one-way trip. And then what's holding back Glitch Trap, unless Vanessa is still here, and she's the one that pulls Glitch Trap back in? To keep Glitch Trap from harming Cassie? I don't understand. I'm having some coffee. Okay, I've had my coffee. But like, okay, so we go further down, right? So is this, imp is this supposed to imply that not only is FNAF 6 location sunken into the ground after the fire, which then the Mega Pizza Plex is built on top of, but that also, that was built on top of Afton's house? Or at the very least, on top of the uh, FNAF 5 location?
Like the sister location location? Because that's where the scooper room is. No. My head hurts. No, 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 no. Come on. Stupid flashlights. Okay, I have no more tokens, and there's probably not going to be enough tokens here for me to get the full story from um, Candy Cadet, so I'm not going to bother with that right now. I'll work on that when I do my full um, gathering of items, of collectibles and stuff. That does confirm that Candy Cadet was at FNAF 6, though, so that's interesting. Okay, we've hit a save point. Why are there burners everywhere? It's like the inside of an oven. Sure is, Cassie. Okay. Go further down. Also, these aren't green rocks. This is very obviously glowing mushrooms, but. But people can be silly and wrong. That's okay. There was a security note here, I see now that I look at the ground more effectively. I was too freaked out at the time to really take in the room before. Fill that a little. And there we go. Okay, that's ready to do that. Put on the mask, use the machine, yes. back in. Gregory! Gregory! You okay? Which is interesting. You saved me! You saved me. Gregory? I... I'm Gregory. What? You're not Gregory. What is what that? Are you? I, I Gregory. What is that? Huh?
What? Okay, the credits just aren't loading again. What's interesting is that Gregory never specifically said you're heading to an elevator. But Gregory also should not have access to communicate with you this far into the building. I'm just sort of waiting at this point for the quote-unquote credits to finish so I can see if there's an after credits thing. Though if there's an after credits thing, we might not see it because the credits broke. But it is only two days after release. Um, so I'm not really concerned about that as like an actual issue or anything. That is, hmm. I don't recognize that outfit, so I wonder if that's something from, um, Fazbear's Frights? Or, no, it's not called Fazbear's Frights in the Pizzaplex Saga, is it? I think the Pizzaplex Saga is, like, Return to the Pizzaplex or something? Which is where we first found out about Eclipse? I actually haven't read any of those, I'm gonna be real with you. Um, mainly because I still think of the novels as separate canon because the novels were a separate canon and a separate canon timeline the movie is its own timeline the games are its own timeline okay no that's just it's just it okay um i'm going to Look something up. Thank you, Fandom Wiki. God bless. The Mimic is the main antagonist from the Tales from the Pizzaplex anthology series. Okay. Interesting. Which causes the moon's higher moon to climb. What? Okay. This is just incredibly confusing. I am going to need to have time to just, like, figure out my thoughts on this. Interesting. 
it, it looks like that outfit is a tie-in to the Tales from the Pizza Plex. So this is definitely something that I don't entirely understand. I'll have to look into the Tales from the Pizza Plex lore. also implies that the behavior issues are not caused by glitch trap it was caused by the mimic but it also appears I don't know. Okay, I have a lot to think about. Because this seems to be a setup. That's what this feels like. This feels like a setup for future story, which would explain why it was free. It would explain why it's connected, because it's a direct sequel which is supposed to tie up some loose ends before whatever they do next. Which, okay, hear me out, right? We just messed with the mask again, right? We just messed with the AR VR shit, right? What was the last game that caused the possession via the VR thing and has connections to the AR game? Help Wanted. What game is coming out later this year? Help Wanted 2. My initial thoughts are Ruin was meant to tie up loose and tie up some loose ends of Security Breach to move it more in line with where the story is going from there sort of bring it back into the creepy atmosphere as opposed to the like bright atmosphere that Security Breach originally had and then tie it into whatever we're going to learn in Help Wanted 2. Which I assume Help Wanted 2 is going to be about trying to rebuild Fazbear Entertainment's uh, reputation again. So this might actually be setting up for Cassie to somehow be involved in Help Wanted 2. We know that Gregory is somewhere. Gregory did in fact escape. We know that he has Freddy with him. We know that Cassie did something to the Mimic and sort of destroyed it. We know that Glitch Trap still exists but is currently being contained by something. We don't know what that something is. That something could be Vanessa, that something could be Helpy with an eye. We also know that the Mimic does not kill Roxy because of the neutral ending, which means after the Mimic is down from the scooper, it could be that Roxy comes and gets Cassie. So... I need to think this over. I'm I'm actually incredibly intrigued by what this means for the future of the series. And the fact that they brought in augmented reality when the thing that kicked off the whole security breach everything was the AR game is like a full circle kind of cleverness that I really appreciate. Um, I'm gonna have to look more into what collectibles there are to be able to come up with a, a proper theory. The ending feels a little bit disappointing. I will admit, whatever ending you pick, it does feel a little bit disappointing. But I think that's because we were expecting something more from the free DLC 
that was not what they intended to do. I think that's what it is. We weren't sure what the DLC was going to be. We thought maybe it was going to be a whole other story mode, and it kind of is, and it messes about with a lot of different mechanics that I think would be incredibly interesting. The moving the animatronics with the sound cues, but you're in 3D when you do it. The hidden cameras to figure out that whole thing. The, um... The fixing of sun is interesting. It makes me wonder what's going to happen with Eclipse in the future, because Eclipse is the only animatronic that's fixed. Monty's straight up dead. Chica is heavily damaged, but could theoretically be repaired. And Roxy is alive and cares about Cassie. So... What does that all mean? I genuinely think that this is going to tie into Help Wanted 2 possibly tangentially be related to the movie, but we already know the game timeline is incredibly different to the movie timeline, so it's just going to be like parallel timelines. It's not going to actually tie into it. But Ruin bre I think Ruin will breach the gap. The breach? Broach. Will broach the gap between Security Breach and Help Wanted 2, and Help Wanted 2 is going to directly send us into whatever the next mainline title is going to be. Also, given the fact this is one of the first times that something from the books has been outright brought into the games. I mean, to be fair, technically the illusion discs were brought into the games. But it was more like the illusion discs happened and then the novel was written to explain the illusion discs, which were already implied to be happening, we just didn't know what they were. And then we saw the illusion discs, I believe, in Sister Location. So it's just... I find this incredibly interesting. Is it a full-on sequel to Security Breach? No. That's why it was a DLC sequel, and that's why it was free. But for everything it did, I liked it. I was a little bit confused at first, because the first time you have to find the security node, it isn't entirely clear, um, but it could also just be I was being a silly, goofy, a silly, goofy mood kind of guy. Um... But I am intrigued, because this kind of shows that they can do a more intimidating game. And the thing is, it was free roam, right? But it was also incredibly linear. But you didn't really feel trapped in the linearity. So it still almost felt free roam. So that was a very good mix of moving forward the story while also allowing us a bit of control. Having control over the animatronics was also cool with like the moving with the sounds. I, I, the more I think about Ruin just sitting here, the more I really liked it. And like I said, yeah, the endings were a little bit disappointing but I'm realizing I was expecting way more from Ruin than it was intending to be. And for what it was intending to be, I think it was really, really good. I do think they should fix the issue with the credits not rolling properly. Um, I would definitely recommend fixing that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But that is going to do it for stream today. I just wanted to play through the last bit of Ruin. I didn't know we had just like an hour left of content. Oh, almost two hours actually. But that... Oh, I have a lot of thoughts. I'm going to have to think. I'm going to have to think about that. I have a lot to think about. But thank you everyone for watching. Let me see if I can find someone to raid real quick. Boop, boop. Do, do, 
do. Scrolling through. Searching for someone to raid. Give me just a second. Actually, hold on, wait, when does... Let me see when this one person is raiding, or is streaming. Okay, this person I enjoy is going live in about seven minutes. So, we're gonna talk a little bit until then, so I can raid into them when they start. I've got the name copied. But yeah, I am genuinely intrigued by this concept, by what all happened here. I'm gonna take some time to put my thoughts together. Because it's gonna take some time for me to put my thoughts together on this. But I'm definitely interested. I know I keep just saying the same thing over and over and over, and I get that. But, like, genuinely. What did this... Like, okay, people are like, security breach is bad. Okay, but what did security breach bring to the series? It brought the concept of free realm. It brought multiple endings back in like a very severe way it added a lot more voice acting it feels like security breach was kind of what scott was trying to move towards with sister location but it feels less restrictive like ruin feels less restrictive than sister location even though they're both linear stories where you have to do certain things in order to progress, it feels different. It feels better, I think. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna say it. I think the way that Ruin did the linear storytelling feels better than the way that Sister Location did. Which isn't entirely fair to say, because they are entirely different types of games, but... It just, it feels better to play the linear story progression in the way that Ruin did it than it does in the sister location way of doing it. Because when we're stuck in that one spot, we're used to having to do specific tasks and we'll find out story in the between. Though sister location was a good way at like experimenting with that concept, I feel like Ruin did it better. And I like the concept of Ruin. I like how small- like, I like the small little tidbits we got. I thought it was interesting to include the, um, like, they included a lot more animation than usual. Like, a lot more personality animation, which was intriguing. They had, like, the sort of, like, scripted jump scare type things. But I felt like that was a really good way of keeping the tension high. It was like the little scares and stuff. That felt like a good way of keeping the tension. Um, what else? 
I liked using the cameras, like I said, to be able to like move the animatronics around because we have done that in other games, but we have not been able to do that in the free roam sort of style. And that was very interesting. Was it a little bit buggy in my experience? Yes. However, they're figuring it out. It's fine. I, I genuinely don't care like about like stuff being buggy. Is it playable? Cool. Uh, is it not miserable to play? Cool. I'm happy. Uh, I do still think they need to fix the credits issue because the, the credits should work so that people can see who made the game. Um... It's also interesting to see that DJ Sturf got special thanks, so I wonder if he did some, like, bug testing and stuff. Because he's always been, like, really deep in the whole how do these different mechanics work kind of side of the FNAF fandom. Um, it's interesting that if that is the canon ending, we get rid of the mimic. I wonder why the mimic was introduced to then delete it unless because what i was seeing from the wiki page it looked like the mimic kind of is what led to um what sort of led to the animatronics being more unstable which then made it easier for glitch trap to affect them I'm gonna need to do more research. I will be honest, I have ignored the books for the most part, like I said earlier, because I didn't know what, what it was about. Like, I was just like, the novels are their own thing. Except apparently, Tales from the Pizzaplex novels are not entirely their own thing. They're a parallel thing. So I need to look into those. But, genuinely, I feel like Ruin did a lot right. Like I said, the endings felt a little bit disappointing, but again, I think that's because we were expecting a full game from a DLC. Maybe that's partially on uh, Steel Wool for not like in fully explaining what Ruin was, but that's also kind of on us for expecting a full game type experience for a free DLC. Um, but I do wonder about the endings and what they're meant to imply because I just have a lot of thoughts I just have a lot of thoughts like why are there comics for all the other endings when did Gregory have the time to do that or was that the Mimic the whole time coming up with ideas for what could have happened to Gregory? Like, I don't know. I just, I, I want to know a lot of things is what I want to do. But the person I want to raid has now hit starting soon. I am stopping at the time that I intended to stop. I'm going to send us on over there to DigiShell for the rain parade. It's going to be nice to have a little bit of a cool down after all of that focus. We will be back to streaming next week. I don't know what we're going to play, but we're going to figure it out. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. This has been your captain speaking. Have a good one, everyone.